Let's go, it's the Whitey Show. Remember a couple of weeks ago, or a few weeks ago, I made the top five Lord of the Rings games? Fuck that list. We have a new winner in town, and I won't even lie or wait till the end of this video. This is a fantastic action adventure game, combining the best, best element from other amazing titles such as Assassin's Creed and Batman, but with a brand new alive system called the Nemesis system, an atmosphere that nails the darkness and gloom of this set period of Middle Earth, we have a complete package of goodness. So why is this game so good, Whitey? Well, let's jump right into it. <laughs> Boom, right off the bat, we get this awesome looking designed world. Darkness, gloomy, yet still alive, and most importantly, fun to go through. The character models are fucking awesome no going around it watching it in slow motion especially the finishers is amazing the mass amount of difference between each captain and war chief is awesome to look at too each one has their own identity and you you yourself the character look great so you feel like a damn boss because you look like a damn boss but let's get to the real meat of the game the combat You'll watch this and say, yeah, that's Batman. But let me tell you, the brutality brings a whole new level. Don't even get me started on how wonderful it is and easy it is to switch from how you can use your sword to a bow and feeling goddamn badass. Also, you have so many tricks up your sleeve that each battle is never boring. Then you got a very solid stealth system as well. I mean, shit, you can call it Batman, but I honestly think it's on a whole new level. Just too much fun. Oh yeah, and you can mount a fucking monster. I think they're called Carrigans or Carrigans or whatever. But anyway, it's a goddamn monster, and you can ride on top of it and rip people apart. Well, or but still, it's awesome. <laughs> The other side of the game is exploring. This does feel a lot like Infamous or Assassin's Creed, yes, but those are great systems and it's fun to traverse through these levels or areas, so why the hell not do that, right? Things are easy to climb and it's quick, quicker than any other game, so that's a good thing. The skill tree is both fun to unlock, but even more so, you feel a sense of progression. As you build your character, you slowly feel the character is building, and you can take on these level 20 captains, and it's not only fun, but finally, you can take them on one-on-one -on -one without them laughing at you. Not every game makes you feel this way, becoming actually stronger. <laughs> Now all of that stuff has been great, but let's get to my favorite part of the game, the nemesis system. So say you meet a captain and he kills you. Say his name is, for the fuck of it, Chicken. Chicken kills you and grows in rank, right? Becomes more powerful and harder to kill. Okay, you go back to kill him and say you do, but instead of cutting his head off, you slice his neck or you just stab him in the back or you burn him to death, he will return and stronger and his appearance changes based on what you did to him so if you smacked him around a bit his face is going to be all fucked up if you cut his throat he's going to have a scar there if you burned him he is coming back with a fucking towel over his head like my guy so that is awesome you know why the only real way to kill them is to chop their fucking head off and you can't always do that so easily with each one so it's awesome because each each one as they become stronger become resistant to your finishers so making that actually kill them for good is freaking hard see the game brings a sense of making your own rival and story with these orcs and they're individually different and i love it i'm gonna drop this little video i recorded on my way to work and you can see where i'm coming from and why it's so awesome Fuckface has returned he has returned i I slit his throat. We got through that, right? I, I slit his throat 
Beautiful. He comes back. His fucking fucking throat slit, but he's still back. He's, he's regenerated. His fucking face is scarred up because I punched him in his face a bunch of times. He is back, right? I obviously can't beat him because you can't kill him without stealth, right? So I'm like, shit. So what I do, I run like a little bitch. What does he do? He follows me. And then I shoot a barrel. Boom! Explosion. It hurts him. He's like, Rrr! and I run. I run. I escape, right? Cool. About an hour later, I'm going to go and fight a war chief, and I'm ready. I'm ready to fucking kill this war chief, right? I'm sitting. I'm sitting waiting, right? And I'm sorry. I'm driving to work. Um, I'm sorry. I'm driving to work. Um, and this fucker, what does he do? When he meets me, right? He doesn't talk. He never talks. All he ever does is like a fucking alien thing, twisted thing, right? I'm going to get in a car crash. And I'm sitting there like, God damn it, I can't fucking believe he's back. Then he he actually says something to me. I can't believe it. He goes, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, that was my face. I was like scared shitless of this thing and it's back and his face is covered with bandages because it's burnt because I burned his fucking ass last time and he's scary as shit and that's my story of fuckface. Even after all that stuff, there's tons of shit to do. With the Nemesis system alone, I spent, I don't know, four or five hours before even continuing the story. Hell, I did a bunch of other shit too for hours. When I was at the 13th hour mark, I only had done five or six story missions. Five or six, because I was just too busy having fun fucking up other orcs and the Nemesis system and the side missions and collecting unlockables. I'm. That will feast on your guts! Yeah! <laughs> Did you stay there? <laughs> uh, could you get me down? <laughs> Voice acting and music is on point. You feel like a badass, and every time you go into battle, you feel like you might die. But it's so damn epic, facing 30 orcs all at once with the music blaring. Ugh, I love it! Now the bad. The story isn't horrible. Actually, it's pretty decent, but it's a noticeably weak point compared to the rest of the game, especially the rush ending. Still, when you make your own story, does this even really matter much? Nope, not really. Small minor things like camera can be annoying at times or getting stuck in odd positions when trying to climb and no retry button for some missions, all little minor things. Ah, uh, so minor though, I had to write them down while I was playing because honestly, I don't give a fuck now. But in case you do, there you go. What a fucking magical adventure this one was. I expected solemnness, but this went way beyond my expectations. You know when you pick up a game every few months or actually even years, and it just blows you away, sucks you in, and you feel a part of this world. You know, when you just get that point where you're like, this is fucking amazing. Yes, Shadow of Mordor does just that and more. Every time I saw my rival, my blood boiled and I wanted to fight him in real life. Every time a group of orcs surrounded me, I gave them fucking hell, even if I were gonna die. Every time I rode into battle with a damn Kategor, or Kategor, or whatever the fuck it is, the damn beast, I felt like I was a goddamn king. The game does so much good, so much greatness, that the complaints are small, minor, little shit. Shut the fuck up, beeping. Sorry, my electricity went out, that's why I'm sorry. I felt like this game did just more than what I could ever hope for. In the sequel, I do hope for a better story. You know, that's how fantastic the game was, that I, uh, that's the worst thing I can say is the story's just okay. I mean, everything else in this game is truly fucking great or amazing. And, and I know we're gonna get a sequel, so for this one, I'm gonna give you a 9.5 out of 10. And I can't wait to see what they do with this new series, because this is undoubtedly a new series. Everybody, go pick this game up, and if you are too poor, go rent it, because it's so worth it. Have fun killing orcs. Oh.